is Sean Brooks, filmmaking producer at Brooks Media. Today we're going to be talking about Sony APS-C cameras. Are they still relevant in 2021? Now, out the gate, I'm going to hand his answer to that question. In my opinion, I'm going to say no. Now, granted, the Sony A6600, because this is the camera I'm talking about in specific, like their most high-end APS-C camera they have, has great autofocus, good low light, good sensor size, good megapixels and all that, but it's very limited. And that's, the, that's, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, the world of Fuji X-T4s, hell, even Black Pocket Magic cameras, uh, Black Pocket Magic, Black Magic cameras, and hell, to be honest, the GH5 is still punching way above its weight class and is actually cheaper than the A6600 at this point. I would say that Sony APS-C cameras are seriously lacking their obsolete as of right now. So if you look at all the other offerings that kind of like around this price point, we even look at the Fuji X-T3. We don't even look at the Fuji X-T4, we just look at the Fuji X-T3, which is also cheaper than this camera. Punches way above its price tag and sensor side in comparison to the Sony A6600. The Sony A6600, compared to the other camera that is named, doesn't even do 10-bit. Now, granted, we've talked about this before, 8-bit and 10-bit is not like a huge thing, but you know, if you have a so if you have a full frame Sony camera, you would kind of want to have at least like a, a B cam of an APS-C that at least shoots 420 10 bit. Right now, Sony doesn't even have a, a, a another full frame or APS-C camera that shoots 10 bit at a at a at a price point that's not above like thirty five hundred dollars. Like that's like that's an issue. Versus if you like a Fuji XT4, you get you a Fuji XT3 for your B cam, and you spend under a thousand dollars. Or you're gonna get you two GH5s for the price of one of one full frame camera, whatever the case is. But my point in saying that is, like at, at eleven hundred dollars right now, and that's what this camera is still going for. Even in 2021, this camera is still like above a thousand dollars, which I don't understand how. It is not punching above its weight class to even warrant that price tag. Like, if, if you were to buy a camera right now, especially in this day and age, you could definitely find you a camera that shoots 10 bit and, and it and also takes great autofocus and has usable, uh, it takes great autofocus, it takes great pictures and has decent autofocus. Like, Sony, like at this point, I feel like APSC, like, I feel like with your APSC lineup, you was like, yo, we got great low light and great autofocus. Like, a lot of APSC cameras that offer that, but. We're past that now. What's next, baby? Next, the thing we're gonna talk about is it doesn't even do high quality 1080p. Coming from something like a GH5 and an XT4, which their 1080p looks phenomenal, granted it's still in 10 bit and it's high and it's high bit rate. This camera doesn't even do great 1080p. And then what sucks, I forgot to even mention this in the first point, even with an external recorder, you can't get even 420 10 bit. I think you the most you can get is like 422. And it's like, I mean, granted, if you know what you're doing with color, the white balance and all that, like it's not like a huge thing, but we talking about the, the value of a dollar right now. And at this point in time, I can put, I can invest my money into a whole other camera system that, that gives me more bang for my buck. And at the very least, Sony, if, you know, the 4K looks good, but sometimes 4, 4K is not even the standard yet, right? People keep talking about 8K and all this. 4K is not even the standard yet in the film world, okay? Super 35 is still a thing, 1080p still a thing, 2.7K and all that. Like, so until we can really say like, yo, 4K is a standard right now, 1080p is still much, like it's very much alive and we still need great high quality 1080p. Depending on sometimes what you're doing with the footage, sometimes you don't want to do shoot 4K. You, I can easily shoot 1080p on my, 7, my Sony A7S III and turn that in as a professional, like professional workflow, if you will. I can't say the same about the Sony 6600 Now, if you made it so far to this video, man, you liked it, please don't give it a thumbs up. It helps, it, it helps the channel. I mean, I feel like this this goes without saying. Y'all always say, hey, Sean, I feel like you deserve more subs. The channel is dope. If you, if you like the video, share it, bro. Like this, it, it helps. So <laughs> help your boy out, hit the like, share the video. But nonetheless, moving on to our last point, which is gonna be no real flip screen. Now to be real, let's say this is, like they have a flip screen, I get it, right? But if you're a vlogger and you have something like a great mic like the Data D4 Duo, I'll make sure uh, I link this down in the description below. I did like a little short review on it too. Uh, pretty good, pretty good mic, I love it actually. I'll link that down in the description below as well. But right now, we to put this on and flip this screen up. What screen do you have? What screen, you, you, you say you gave me a flip screen, Sonny, okay, cool. But don't give me a flip screen just to be like, don't give me a flip screen for me not to actually be able to use it. Now, I've seen people who rig this up like with a small rig and then put like a, a mic on the side of it, but who wants to do all that when I have a flip screen here if you would've just, or if you just actually made it more common sense and had it flip out like your other Sony cameras, this would be, this would kind of be a moot point at this point. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you, like you have this, but I feel like it's, it's pointless if you're trying to do any work with you vlogging. So, but those are just my opinions, man. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. 
I'm not saying that the Sony APS-C for like for anything else is like trash. You know what I'm saying? Like it's still great for photography. And depending on what you're doing, you may not have a need 10 band. This is all you need. But in a world where XT4, XT3, GH5s, Black uh, Black Magic cameras, Lumen X5, in a world when all these cameras exist at a certain price point, at above a thousand dollars, be I suspect something a little bit more.